Oh boy. There's just more bullshit with this NBA 2K15 game. This teammate, I'm playing my career, superstar mode. Here I am, number seven. I, you can only control one player in my player. I'm playing against the Phoenix Suns. They picked up Stephen Curry. I'm probably in my like eight, seventh or eighth year of my career. Seventh or eighth season. I won a few championships. Whatever. That's neither here nor there. The teammate AI is just so terrible. And it's plays like this that just play after play after play that just really detract and take away from the game. You know, the, the, the first is that the defensive movement of your player is just terrible, right? But that's not even the worst part. Curry brings the ball up. Let me just show you this play right here. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna just run it in full motion, and then I'm gonna just tell you. You'll probably immediately see what the problem is, but I'll just talk about it anyway. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. Let's see. Curry comes down. He gets cut off. Passes the ball. I help, but I recover. Now, you see what just happened there. But let's rewind a bit. Let's rewind from when they come over the court, half court. The CPU just comes over at half court. Without reaching, I'm moving my feet, and it's real hard to stay in front of people because it, playing defense, as a lot of you know, it's just a continual battle against your player running automatically somewhere. And you fight the controls to keep him in front of the offensive player. There's no freedom of movement on defense. All you do is fight the controls to prevent your player from doing some other randomness, running away, running past, or whatever, running past the, the offensive player. So here I am. I play good D. One of the few times I get to cut Curry off. Right, without reaching, nothing. I just cut him off. So the CPU is forced to pass because the CPU wants to come down and shoot. And, you know, they just have to pass the ball. So here's my reaction a little bit late. You can see me jump in the air, passes in the air. Tim Hardaway, they pass to this guy. Some random generated... All these guys on the left side of the court are randomly generated, except for Tim Hardaway. So Macy gets the ball. And this is the problem right here with teammate AI. My big man, my center, is guarding this center. This center comes up to set a screen. He sets an illegal screen. He's not even set. That's why he gets pushed back. That's why that's why the CPU, why Tim Hardaway is able to push him back because he's not fully set with his screen. And once he gets set, that's when he stops moving. So that should be a call right there. But I'm not even mad about that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. Y'all can have that. What I'm more mad about is how this guy turns the corner and gets to the bucket. And why is that? Because on defense... This man does not hedge. They, they, they know nothing about hedging. The, the teammate AI is so bad. He's supposed to step out. He sees his man setting a screen. He is supposed to step this way. To prevent, right here, right to the elbow. To prevent the offensive man from turning the corner and getting all the way to the bucket. But what, does, but what does 2K do, decide to do, because they don't care about defense, they, they let your teammates watch their own offensive player set a screen, and he doesn't even hedge. He jumps to the inside, and where is he going? He's not going anywhere, and lets his man get picked, and then he doesn't even recover. And then the worst part is, that's not where you recover to. And he gives up on the play. So he does like four worse, four terrible things on defense. 
He doesn't hedge. He doesn't recover properly, and he gives up on the play. And this happens play after play after play, and it is so irritating watching your teammates do this because you spend all your energy running all over the court trying to make up for their terrible defense. This is all team this is all AI control. This is all CPU control. He jumps the wrong way. Now, he's supposed to drop down here. Drop down you're the paint, you're the big man. Your responsibility is to defend the paint. Let this guy come out here, take a jump shot if he needs to. But what you do not do if you're a seven footer is you do not let a point guard drive all the way to the bucket. Since you didn't hedge properly, you're, since he's not since he's not out here, he should be somewhere down here in the paint between the restricted and the dotted to make sure this guy doesn't turn the corner and get all the way to the bucket. So he jumps the wrong way. Offensive player is allowed to run a curl pattern. He doesn't. He doesn't even recover. So two players are caught up in one screen by one player, and then he gives up on the play. And and look at that. And now the guy, the CPU is allowed to have a two on one. This is a. This turns into a two on one fast break. He turns the corner. Hardaway is all the way out of the play. Big man, right here, he gives up on the play, and you can see the other big man, he's got his hand up. So either one of them can score. I'm trying to, and, 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 and what's even worse is that what you find is when you play good defense in 2K, it prevents you from freely moving around the court at a normal speed. So I tried to drop into the paint to get all the way back here in front of the basket. But my movement is completely hindered. The offense must score. And I end up jumping backwards because you can't even turn around. You can't even, you can't even pivot properly on defense. You can't pivot. There's no pivoting. Offense, you can pivot, you can go behind your back, you can spin move. Look at this. Look at my shuffling, my foot shuffling. I'm trying to run backwards, and it just ends up in me jumping backwards. Because I can't even pivot. I can't even turn and pivot and face the ball. Defense is completely prevented. They prevent you from playing any defense, and then, they, and then your teammates play horrible defense. So you can't even make up for their mistakes because you're prevented. How many years of this are we going to have to watch, man? How many years are we going to have to sit through? This is why people go nuts and have to become play hero ball all the time. Because of, this, is, this is basketball 101. If you play at any level, anytime a big man hedge, sets a screen... Uh, the big man has to hedge. Where is the hedge? Where is the hedge? And the funny thing is, the CPU hedges on your ass when you try and run a curl like that on offense. Oh, that big man defender will hedge. He'll jump out on you. You're not going to curl all the way around the bucket and get all the way to the bucket like that freely. No, you're going to have this. This defender is going to collapse on you. This defender is going to collapse on you. This man will hedge. This guy will probably drop down into the paint, and it's and you'll be going one on four. But but when you're but but when it's your teammates, it's awful, and you know you end up playing nine against one all the time. Nine against one on offense. Nine against one on defense. You're out there all alone. This is a goddamn game. 2K, fix your goddamn defense, man. Fix this game, man. Fix this game. You made it an arcade game. It is completely frustrated for people who just want to play some good D without reaching and cheesing. You know, and they just want to rely on their 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 teammates to help out. 
And they can't. you can't even do that. You can't recover on defense. You can barely stay in front of people. They got rid of the foot sliding, but they didn't improve the movement on defense. And the, the logic and the teammate AI is completely terrible. Enough, man. We've had enough.